Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips for welding a slip joint. Anytime you're building a custom exhaust, you have a muffler, maybe a cat, uh, even like a V-band or anything that'll slip over, especially if you have a thicker material, go into like an 065 material. I'm going to show you how to get perfect welds on those. All right guys, so I just want to go over some of the basic stuff. I mean, obviously, um, go ahead and prep it all. So this has been Scotch-Brite. Everything's been acetoned. It's pretty clean. Um, that's going to help a lot getting you a good weld. Anytime you're doing stainless, that's what you want to do. Now, as far as the muffler is concerned, so this, this joint is relatively tight. Um, sometimes you'll run into stuff where you have actually like a little bit of a gap. If you do have a bit of a gap, you might consider lightly tapping it down with a hammer if you can, trying to get the gap as small as possible. This is fine. Um, I'll be able to weld this no problem. As far as technique, I want to show you guys. So I see a lot of people and they want to start at the thicker material going down to the thinner material. And if you weld this direction, what you're going to end up with is a lot of chop. You're going to see a lot of undercut basically coming out because the material is going to be wanting to fall, right? And it's really, really hard even with adding filler to get it to look real consistent. So the way that I weld these is I basically start all my heat on the 065 tube, right? On the thinner tube and on the lower tube. And I bring the puddle right up against the joint and that way, I can keep it real consistent and it'll actually look more like a solid weld line. So that's the way that I do it. Um, I use a eighth inch filler on this to give it a little bit more of a full look. And yeah, I love the way they turn out doing that. So we'll set this one up and we'll weld it. So here's one I've, I've got in the fixture right now. And you can see this, because of the way it's in the fixture, this gap is, is a little bit bigger than I'd like. Now, if you want, you can take a hammer and just kind of tap this down. I mean. Honestly, I can still weld this joint and make it look decent, but if you want to tap this down, this is where you do it. Just make it a little bit tighter. All right, got a welding helmet on the camera. Let's see if you guys can see this at all. I'm not 100% sure if it'll work, but I'll give it a try. All right, so again, we're gonna start on the thinner material and work our way up to the slip. Got everything back purged, eighth inch filler, 332nd tungsten E3. that weld turns out like. So we'll go ahead and weld the whole thing. Show you the finished product here. Welding in a fixture definitely adds some elements. You gotta be able to move around all the pieces that get in your way. Okay, so just 
burn that real quick. So you can see on the side where there was a little bit bigger of a gap. It's not 100% perfect, but I'm, I'm more than happy with it. Uh, where it was a little bit tighter fit up, I think it looks really good. That whole area there came out really, really, really nice. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other ideas for videos, please leave them down in the comments. We've had several people ask about the titanium welding cups that I keep making uh, and keep using. So I'll probably make a video about that here pretty soon. If you guys can think of anything else, uh, please let me know and uh, like and subscribe for more.